Hey guys, Rocky here. Decided to uh, do up another video here. Got a little project that just came to mind the other day, and I'm gonna probably get started on it. So uh, figured I'd do a video for you guys. Uh, as you can see behind me here, I've got the uh, the Harley Davidson sitting there, the Dyna Street Bob, 2014. Um, she's uh, still in pretty good shape. I mean, it's a new bike. Hasn't got a lot of kilometers on it or anything. Uh, it does have a few paint issues here. I had a little problem a while back where I uh, was uh, charging a battery for uh, a new brand new battery that I just filled with acid for another bike and I was charging it up and of course stupidity I forgot to take the uh, caps off the vent so it sat there and built up pressure and build up pressure as it was charging and uh, even though it was a fair distance away from the bike uh, when it blew the cap off some of the acid got onto the uh, the Harley here and uh, ate through the clear coat which is a uh, kind of a crappy thing to happen but it did happen um, I don't know if you guys can see that or not but there's a lot of little uh, little flecks in the paint that's basically the clear coat has been damaged by the uh, the acid so I don't know in order to clear coat that I would imagine to fix it it would probably have to be sanded down and clear coated over again not really sure not a paint guy. Uh, got some some marks on it over here too, mostly on that side over there, because the battery was sitting over in that area. Uh, and there's a few marks on the front fender. This one here's mostly dust, but if I wipe that dust off, you would see a few marks on the front fender too, I do believe. And uh, didn't get anything on the side pan or the horn uh, down here. The paint's good on that back in the rear fender. The rear fenders usually take a beating anyway, even if. Uh, you know, it doesn't matter what you're doing there. Uh, you put saddlebags on, or if you have another seat or anything, the rear fender usually gets quite a bit of quite a bit of scratches and kind of dulls, paint dulls down. So this one here is dulled down. It's kind of dirty right now. I could probably clean it up a lot. But uh, the plan here is the next project. What I got in mind is to uh, to uh, tape it all up and all the chrome and everything, and uh, anything that's not a black painted surface. Take it all up and uh, get some good old black plasti dip. And uh, I could put this on, and the good thing about it is if I want to, I can easily take it off. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to tape everything up, and I'm going to spray the tank uh, with the clear with the uh, plasti dip, and I'm going to spray the rear fender, and I'm going to spray the front fender. Uh, all of the other stuff that's glossy black now will stay glossy black. It'll just be uh, a matte uh, plastic dip black finish on the uh, fenders and on the tank and on that I'm going to put on some hand painted graphics we'll see how that turns out I've got a few things in mind I could freehand something well it's going to be freehand no matter what it is but I mean what I could do is do something on my, on my head right let's come up with an idea or I could take something that I've seen on the internet you know there's lots of different graphics out there and try to replicate something and maybe modify it a little bit to meet my uh, my requirements what I want and the good thing about it is if I don't like it I can take it off immediately or I can just uh, leave it on for a little while and see how it goes and at some point if I want to I can actually uh, spray over it with the plastic dip and uh, do some other graphics on it or peel it right off and go back to the original paint whichever the case may be but uh, for now I'm cleaning the bike up I uh, just did the tank, just so that I have a clean surface to put the plastic dip on. So once it's on there, if it's a good job and I like it, you know, it'll stay for a while. It won't peel off on me right away. Uh, stuff seems to stick pretty good, although it also will come off fairly easily if you want it to. Uh, so until I have uh, the tank uh, sprayed down, and maybe even the fenders with the black plastic dip, uh, I'll pause and I'll show you the results.